Craig in here? Yes, of course. Dr. Bregan? Oh, I seem to be out of cigarettes. Dr. Bregan, I'm a non-smoker. Oh, excuse I... me, excuse me. My mind is not working. There's so many things. Center of the storm, 100 miles south. Wind direction changed again to north-northeast. Uh, wind velocity here, uh, 8 miles per hour. Lift off to Countdown now at um, 3 hours, 16 minutes, and 4 seconds. How in the hell can anybody be so utterly stupid as to build a rocket base on the coast of Florida? There's always another day. Another day? There's been too many other days. Days! Sorry, right, Paul. I'll be all right. Just a minute. Just give me a minute, please. Oh, I won't say it. You don't have to. I know what you're saying. Bragging here. Yes, where? Well, thank you. It's right here. Paul, it's right here. The wind direction was west by northwest. By golly, we're going to make it this time. That baby is going to fly. You lost me, doctor. Has there been a change? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, this phone call. There was a storm moving in on us, but it seems to be veering off in this direction, see? Now, if the wind velocity holds at its present reading, that will give us just enough time. Paul, proceed as scheduled. So pass quickly, and all the stress and disappointments and past failures, they're all behind us now. True. True. I think uh, Dr. Bregan should be in on this. Dr. Reagan? Yes? Uh, Dr. Stanley and Dr. Shannon here has something I think you should see. Sure. Dr. Bregan, there could be a possible error in our calculations. Could be? Could be, Dr. Stanley? There is no room for could be's with this project. You see this? A mathematical error, the width of this small coin in space could represent the distance between New York and Tokyo. In the growing dimensions of space, it could throw a rocket a million miles off its targets. Dr. Stanley, could be as I cannot use. Gentlemen, I want the facts, the facts do you hear? Paul, have the necessary corrections made and bring me the reports and get those things out of my sight. Get them out of my... Oh. Here you go. Thanks. Just what I need. You need more than a drink. Uh, doctor, uh, you think my mind is failing? No failing, no doctor. Your present work proves that. But then I think you are overworked. A doctor? Well, it certainly wouldn't hurt to have one look you over. Work. I thrive on it, and you know it. Dr. Bragan, my old friend, you've been at this 365 days a year for five years. You're tired. 
We need men like you with your intelligence. I'm merely suggesting, Dr. Bragan, that all of us at some time find ourselves in need of a little rest, a little care. Now, what hospital would you suggest? Ah, uh, hospitals are for the sick. Uh, I'd suggest a long trip, maybe to my country. You have all summer. Paul Nakamura, you're a very capable assistant. More, a good friend. And it's only a matter of recordings until the capsule reaches its destination. All summer. I was set to visit your country once. And college botany was my major. I was to study the relationship between the giant sequoia in California and the ancient cliptomeria in Japan. But there was a war, remember? Mathematics became all important. Botany had to take a back seat. After the war, more mathematics. Mathematics more complicated than ever before in history. Dr. Bregan, Japan is very beautiful at this time of the year. <laughs> you know, I do believe you're trying to tell me something. <laughs> You're sure you won't change your mind about driving up the coast? No, I find driving very relaxing. And besides, I might find some interesting flora and fauna along the way. Well, just remember that your flight leaves at 0900 on Monday. I'll be there on time. And my cousin will meet you at the Tokyo airport. Yes, Paul. And everything's in the trunk. Yes, Paul. Well, goodbye, Dr. Bregan. Have a nice trip. Thank you so much. Chugging in there, heard you honking and hollering and everything. Expect you got some trouble, huh? Well, I sure have. Well, <laughs> just think how much trouble both of us would have had. If I'd let old Ernie and Gordon here go right quick like. Now, don't you do that. <laughs> well, they've been right sickly lately, and I'm going to have to send them back where they belong for a spell. <laughs> Now, what's your trouble, mister? I don't know. I seem to have plenty of gas. Well, sir, why don't you take a look at your car? Why don't you take a look at my snakes? No charge. Even got one of the little Carl snakes in there. Well, I'm telling you, snakes have never been of any interest to me. Oh, snakes is of an interest to everybody, even if they scared them. So go on in.
Venus flytrap. Hey, where'd you get your gas lens? At the base at Cape Kennedy, why? That figures I don't see how they ever got a rocket off the ground. Your fuel line's all clogged up. Well, can you fix it? Of course I can. Take you long? Might take a spell. Make yourself at home with my snakes. It's no charge as long as I'm working on the car. And I even got one of the little coral snakes over here. That plant, is it for sale? Cute little bugger, ain't she? Well, is it for sale? Now, what would a fella like you be wanting with a little old bug catcher like her? Nope. She ain't for sale. Too small. But there's plenty more out in the swamp there where she came from. Help yourself. Hey, shovel out by the back gate there. You're welcome to it. But don't forget, sun's out now, and it brings out them snakes. Don't forget old Ernie and Gordon. They got lots of relatives out there. I won't forget. Thank you. It's a good thing that's so small. A big one could take an arm off. Yes, it uh, could at that. I seem to have passed. Good. I really hope you have a most delightful visit to Japan. Thank you. Welcome again. Thank you. Good luck, Dr. Blagan. Thank you. Dr. Bregan? Yes? I am Noriko Hanamura, cousin to your assistant, Paul Nakamura, who informs me now I am to be your guide and your assistant. That Paul. He forgot to mention that his cousin was. <laughs> well, now, you're an unexpected pleasure. And I might add, a very beautiful one. Patrick will get you everywhere, Dr. Bregan. It was you who made all the arrangements. With the help of your friend in the American consulate, who sent you his best regards and hopes you will dine with him soon. That would be nice. I must call Norman and thank him. I have arranged for your hotel, and your luggage will be taken care of. Your pleasure. Dr. Bregan? Well, I could use some refreshments. I believe you are my assistant and my guide. Lead on. Come.
charming place. A bit of old Japan, Dr. Bragan. Beautiful, beautiful. An oracle, an excellent suggestion. Dozo. I rode a sake. Wood. Osake, Very. I am not to ask. For the time being, no. A time and a place? Mm, yes, a time and a place. Paul thought you might like to continue your botany research, so I took the liberty of asking my professor at the university, and he said he would be most happy to have you use his laboratories and greenhouse. That was most kind of him and of you. But for the time being, I'd prefer something more remote. Perhaps I've been around too many people lately. I'd like to know if I want seclusion, I could have it. Has my cousin Paul told you my family owns a number of resort hotels? No, he never mentioned it. I know the perfect place. It has a greenhouse and plenty of seclusion. That's where I became interested in Botany. Sounds great. Where is it? High in the mountains near Karuizawa. It has been abundant for years. I'm sure my father would certainly want you to use it. One thing, the lows are very bad. Father? Doctor, when you permitted me to be your assistant, you also accepted me as your guide. Driving, Dr. Bragan. I can understand why your father decided this wasn't a good place for a resort hotel. All it needed was a new road, but the cost was too much. I haven't been up here for years. I don't know what. An active volcano. Another reason for the decline of my father's property. Frightening. But it's not dangerous. I hope you're right. Let's get out of here.
It's what I'd forgotten. I don't understand, Doctor. Just leave it that way. It's what I'd nearly forgotten. I couldn't have designed it any better for my plans. Come, let me show you the hotel. Good. Watch out! Well, what the... He is a caretaker for my father, and we startled him. As I said before, Asama only looks dangerous most of the time. My father said some of the rooms are still furnished. You'll be comfortable here. Room. He certainly is an odd character. Can I get you a cup of coffee? No, thanks. I can get rid of him if you like. Oh, oh, no, that won't be necessary. He can't help his appearance, and he probably couldn't hold a job anyplace else. My father said he's a good worker. I'm sure he's quite capable. It's a lonely life up here. I suppose that's why he took the job. No one to stare at him. Some people can be very unkind. Ah, I understand. Well, it's been a long day. If you'll excuse me, I think I'll go to my room. Good night. <sighs> oh, yes. Uh, thank you again, and good night. Good night, Doctor. Probably good to have around. I don't want anybody spying once we start to work. Come, let's look around. Oh, where's the greenhouse? I want to see that first. It's over there. Wow. Excellent. Excellent. It's in rather good shape. Old Kawai is somewhat of a gardener and has been taking care of it. Good. Let's have a look. It's the puppy of the big dog. Now she's going to be a mother. Doctor, I was telling you about the dog. I have more important things on my mind than dogs, please. Who 
Cuckoo Dog. Get away from that. <laughs> Don't kill it. is not to be disturbed. Do you hear? If I can't have what I want here, then I'll have to find a place somewhere else. No one. Do you understand? No one is to disturb this box. Did you find it? Yes, a bucket full. Come on, sit down. Ah, it'd be good to rest for a while. There is a time. All must rest. Coffee? No, thanks. Yes, I expect so. I have been a little aggravating the past few days, haven't I? Now, you don't have to answer that. I know I have. Doctor, I am your assistant and a very good botanist. I am sure if you just allow me, I could be a considerable assistant. Noriko, do you have any idea what's out there? Do any of us, stars, planets, other galaxies, perhaps life as we know it? Perhaps soon we'll know. My life has been out there. It still seems to be. It's my probe, my project, that speeds on its way to another planet, to search its depth, its soil, its life, perhaps. It's mysteries, when there are so many mysteries right here on our own planet we haven't even solved. We haven't even scraped the upper regions of the ocean, let alone its farthest depths. Now, we feel that life came first from the ocean, but do we know it as fact? If it is fact, then all animal life, also human beings, are derived from plant life. I've never thought of it that way before. Well, think of it, girl. Think of it. Think of the possibilities out there and here at the same time. May I help, please? 
Can you keep an open mind? Can you ask me that after the last few days? Um, it will be dark before we get home, and it's beginning to look like rain. shot could damage the plant. Then it is a plant. One completely alien to Japan. I protected it and kept it alive all the way from Wilmington, North Carolina. Must be pretty important. What I have in mind for it is an important thing. For a while, I thought it was dying. So far gone, I couldn't revive it. But I found through a mixture of mountain sand and fresh lava rock, I was not only able to revive it, but to strengthen it. You know what it is? I've never seen anything like it. Watch. Why, it's carnivorous. Darwin called you Deonia Mesipula. I christen you Insectivorous. More commonly known as a Venus flytrap. An interesting plant, our little cannibal. Now watch this. I don't understand. An angile stimulus does not suffice. It normally requires the presence of the prey. Then a crushing movement begins and continues until the surface of both lobes press against the body of the prey. Digestion starts immediately. A digestive fluid more powerful than in humans. Now, what's this? What happened? That plant can reason. The ant was too small to be of any food value. It wasn't worth the plant's time or digestion to bother with it. It simply allows the thing it rejects to escape. It's little wonder Charles Darwin became interested. He called it the most wonderful plant in the world. Perhaps he had another theory about the origin of life. This plant can think reason. Then why can't it be human?
find a way. Mark my word, I'll find a way. You will become the most powerful thing on this universe. Your mother was a soil. Perhaps... Perhaps the lightning will become your father. The equipment we discussed can't be all about truck. Certainly not. The road couldn't take the strain. How then? If I'm to succeed, I must have it. With oxen, it's much slower, but you can be sure of getting everything here safely. That's a very good idea. Let's get going. Well, it's a long tubular plant that waves back and forth on the ocean floor and devours hapless marine life that come its way. Yes, a tubular marine plant that devours prey. Now, from a Venus flytrap, landbound. And a Venus vesiculosa, what about? Can you imagine what a potential of a giant those two plants grafted into each other would be? Then you know of the Venus vesiculosa? I'll know more when I get to Tokyo. How long will we be there? As long as it takes me to order the equipment. Ready? Would you make arrangements for our rooms? I have something one to do. Certainly. And please tell the bell captain to call me a taxi. I'm going to take a train to Tokyo. I'll call you as soon as I'm clear. Dr. Reagan, don't you think it would be wiser if I start ordering the material you require? Our time is short. Good. I'll meet you here for dinner about uh, 7. Uh-huh. Good. The motor station. Hi.
You seem so far off. Excuse me. I am off the coast of Chiba, where the Venus Pesaculosa might be found. Are we going there? Well, just as soon as equipment I ordered is on its way. You need diving equipment. Well, in Aqualung, I'm a pretty good swimmer ever since I was a boy. And you? I am also a very good swimmer. I don't need an Aqualung. I dive without one. Domo arigato. But uh, you can't stay down very long that way. You would be surprised. <laughs> I guess not. You've already proved yourself a very remarkable person. Thank you, Doctor. My father has a hotel on the Chiba coast. Now, your father is also a very remarkable man. But he's too busy making money. our last dive. It's cold up here and cold down there. Well, maybe this weather breaks soon. Suzuki and I are going up the beach about a mile. We'll fan out as long as time permits. And young lady, you'd better stay close to shore. And don't try going down too deep or staying too long. You understand? I just as soon not lose such a lovely assistant. The nice things you say at times like that. Let's go. up to my ears. Oh, I remember once saying to you, I didn't want to be around people. I'd been crowded too much, but now. Don't give up, Dr. Bregan. You're not fooling me. You know what you are? You are just plain old-fashioned tired. It's not people, it's not the solitude. When I was out there this afternoon, I lost control of myself. I felt absolutely alone. I tried to tap the whole ocean bottom with my bare hands. That wasn't loneliness you felt. It was aggravation, frustration, because it is taking you so long to find your Venus Vesiclosa. Norco, thank you. Thank you for being you. And how could you have been lonely down there? I was with you. Maybe. Maybe when my work's finished here, there'll be 
time for other things. Yamas. Amas. The famous woman divers of Tiba, they dive deeper than any human without artificial aid. It is their profession, gathering up Arani and other mussels from the ocean bottom. They've been diving in these waters all their lives. And if the Venus Vesiclosa is around here, they'll know and where. Well, why haven't you told me about this before? Would you have listened before? <laughs> I guess you're right. I had to look for myself first. Well, uh, how do you contact Amos, these? That's yeah. the easy part. We'll contact them on the beach. You contact them. Bring them here to me. I like to talk to people on my own terms, not theirs. Now, come on. All right. fluid of both plants, mixed together with the highest potency of vitamins known to science. These plants have glands just like humans. Glands that determine their growth and their health. I propose first to change the entire structure of those glands with these injections. Later when I feel it's strong enough, I'll fuse the Venus flytrap with the Venus vesiculosa. 
be creating a whole new species, a plant, as human as the human element itself. But that's, that's the impossible, Doctor. Don't tell me anything is impossible. I refuse the word impossible. And you will also if you wish to continue with me. Damn. Let me fix that. It's nothing, it's only a scratch. Even the scratch can be dangerous. Now, let me take care of it. A bandage would get in my way. I have no time to waste. Excuse me, please. than it is. However, don't you try it. The powerful digestive juices are the real danger. You'll notice I don't leave my hand in there long enough for them to start working. There is much more work to be done before our creation can be realized. Work and more work is all we can expect.
せは Thank you, Noriko. It's grown in the past two days since the operation. How big will it get? Big? There's uh, no telling, really. We'll just have to wait. Our experiment is into the unknown. Big? Yes, the... Final answer is a long way off. Will you be taking the cover off soon? In all probability, tonight. The arms must not remain under the cover for too long a time. It needs the sunlight and the purity of rain. Have you heard the weather report? It will rain. Then you've heard the weather report. I don't need to. In these mountains, it always rains at night, this time of the year. Hot and black. Just what I need. You've been working too hard again. You must rest once in a while. The success of my creation is all in the world that matters to me. Can you succeed, Doctor, if you become sick and unable to work? I'll be all right. Kawai will have breakfast ready in a little while. This is all I need. I have no time for anything else. You take so little time for rest. You should eat. You've got to keep your strength. Will you stop harping on me? I am damn well old enough to look after myself. I've been doing it for a good number of years. Yes, Doctor. No, no, no. It uh, does smell good. I'm uh, sorry for the way I spoke. Doctor, I am accustomed to your changing moods by now. Would you permit me to join you? I'd be most honored. It was shameful the way I spoke. No matter how busy a woman is, she always finds time to eat and to rest. A man, he is different. He finds his strength in other things. I'm sorry if I sounded like a nagging fishwife. It will not happen again. No. You are not at fault. You owe me no apologies. No scientist in the world could ask for a better assistant. That's very nice of you to say. But I mean it. Never once have I had to repeat orders. Never once has anything been mislaid. If something was needed, you were the first in the world was to be found. And who would have known of the Amas and their role in life? Now you bring the red to my face. <laughs> A little blush never hurt anybody. But we must hurry. It will take us most of the day to prepare the serums for tonight's unveiling. Yes, Doctor. And Norco, please be sure and have a full bottle of brandy on hand. We may both need it before the night is through. Kawai-san. Hey. Brandy ponegai ne? Hey. No sooner said than done, as you Americans would say. <laughs> it must rain, it must rain. Everything depends on it. It's early. See the clouds? There's been clouds like those before, and thunder, and lightning, and still it didn't rain. It will rain. You're always so damn positive about everything. Depends upon the rain.
chair just looking and I, I must have fallen asleep and toppled over and hit my head. Are you all right now? Yes, thank you. Light me a cigarette, please. Yes, and some brandy for you. Brandy for this day. Hey! I'd forgotten how sweet your lip rouge could be. Kawaii will have brandy in a moment. Dying, isn't it? Is it so important, Doctor? Nothing is so important as your own health. I don't see how it could be dying. There may still be some chance. I don't understand what it might be. We can always start over. I must be back at the Cape in a month. I haven't time to start over. Remember? You told me once you wouldn't allow the word impossible to be used. I still haven't used it, and I don't intend to. I'll find the answer. I'm all right now, thank you. Doctor. What would you have me do? Bury it and forget it. That's the best way. Sure, it's always best to... 
bury one's mistakes, I guess. You did your best. Apparently, my best hasn't been good enough. Hey, 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 something about the plant. Oh, come on. I wonder. Get out of here, both of you. Oh, wait. Have him get me some mice, rabbits, chickens, anything he can trap, and I want them now. In the meantime... No, no, Dr. Brady, you can't mean what you're thinking. What am I thinking? Rabbit, chicken, and mice, and puppy. I wish that thing had died. I wish it had withered away, and Kali had buried it. Get out of here, both of you, and take those damn mutts with you. Is the same count as the blood around a human heart. It's all there. You can move as well as you can feel. I know you can. I'll make you move. All I need is the blood of a human being to prove the fact. It will be proof without a shadow of a doubt that man is descended from plant life. I'll make you move. Those stumps, your legs. Strong enough to carry ten times your weight. Takes the blood of a human heart to prove my theory. You will have the blood of a human heart.
Now some sleep for me. Insectivores, by morning we should have proof positive. <laughs> Norco, you should have more faith, much more faith. Something happened to Kawaii. Oh, yeah, yeah, come me. What happened? That's Blanca, that, that's him. It's moved. What did you do what to him? Oh. It's moved. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Braden, Kawaii did nothing to your stupid plant. It attacked him. This thing is a monster. You are no longer Dr. Bregan scientist. You are becoming Dr. Bregan madman. Give it up, please. Don't be silly. It's affecting your mind. There is nothing wrong with my mind. Give it up. If that's all you can say, will you get out of here? This is still my family's home. I go where I please. What's wrong with your hand? I have told you. I wear this leather mitt as protection from a cut. Nothing more. Oh. Would you leave me alone for a while? Now, please? Of course, Doctor.
have moving room, a chance to spread out. Something has happened to his dog. That plant. Well, that was my first thought. But the dog was tied a good 15 feet away from him. His arms couldn't have possibly reached that far. Look! I know I am right. It's a monster, and it should be destroyed before any more damage can be done. Destroy him when I know I've succeeded? He moved by his own volition. I know it. How could it? How could a plant move? I'm going to prove it one way or another, tonight. How? I'm not taking my eye off him for one second. I wish you'd stay with me. If you want me to, Doctor. I do. I may need a witness. Shall I make some coffee? A bit later. It's not moving. It will, in time. Sleepy? I wasn't, but now I'm not sure.
happened? Oh, I don't know. One minute we were sitting here talking, the next minute we are cold. <clears throat> My creation! It's gone! What? Yes, I told you he could move. How could have moved it? I'd go find him. No, he didn't do it. It moved by itself. It's carnivorous. If this that thing gets to the village, there is no telling what it might do. Anything. Anything might happen. The villagers. They might destroy my proof of the real basis of human evolution. We've got to warn the people. We must let them know of the danger. We must find him first. That's the important thing. Come on. is so powerful, but now it could devour anything. Do this alone. What are you going to do? Destroy it. I will destroy my creation, my work of genius. But how? I don't know, but I'll find a way. You're not going up there, Alan. It's my creation. It's my place to destroy it. It has nothing to fear from me. Besides, no one else could get close enough to do anything effective. But I can't. I have to find a small farm animal. Be careful, Dr. Bragan. Thanks for everything, Norco. You stay here. If you stay, the villagers will stay. Stay. Norco, stay here.
soldiers want to kill you. But we are full of them. You and I. You belong to High Ridge. You won't follow us there. We'll escape you and I. Yeah. Find a nice, safe place to continue our work. Where are you? Inspect the bars. Just follow me. Just follow me. 